first grocery run of 2024. Let's do a little haul of everything I got. I didn't get that much stuff, but just enough for the week. I'm like slowly getting back to eating like normal food after I was sick. So I just wanted to stock up on like veggies and stuff for some healthy meals this week. For greens, I got chopped kale and then arugula. I love both of these for like side salads and lunches and stuff. I got a little bit of almond milk. My favorite brand is the Malk and I get the vanilla almond milk. I got two of these Lot Cologne cold brews and some of these lime siete chips, some of this Dave's killer bread. This is like whole wheat bread for like sandwiches. Some baby carrots for snacking, some hummus, got some cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomatoes are like my favorite for salads and just like snacking. I could eat this entire thing like all by itself. Got some Atlantic salmon for dinner tonight. I don't even know how to pronounce this, but I love this brand of green olives at Whole Foods. I also got some of these clover sprouts these are really good for you but i also just like love the texture in sandwiches and stuff and then just some berries so forgot i got this probiotic red beet and cabbage organic sauerkraut i love this stuff so much i tried it um for the first time like last month and i finished the entire tub and it's just really nice to add on to any meal it's a natural probiotic which is really good for your gut health and i love this brand <laughs> left the nail salon i'm obsessed with how my nails turned out i have been like loving short clean nails and i was like so desperate to get my other ones off they were looking really disgusting but we did a color by opi i think it's called i got the blues for red or something like that but i'm obsessed with it they did such a good job and the ladies were so sweet today so i'm very happy with it this is as short as we could possibly go and I just asked her to do like a square shape but then round the edges so it's like more natural and I love it. Here are the nails in like better lighting. I got a little matcha earlier from a coffee shop and I actually really like the matcha from here. Matcha, mint, honey, and almond milk which honestly I can probably make this at home. I feel like I haven't really talked to the vlog much. I've been like more inspired to do my makeup lately because I've been taking better care of my skin. And I feel like when you're like breaking out and really struggling with your skin, the last thing you want to do is put makeup on it. And I honestly haven't really been wearing a lot of makeup at all. Like I've just been trying to keep it really natural, really clean throughout the week. Like if I don't have a reason to, I'm not gonna like put on makeup. I've been trying to like clean out my everyday makeup products because so many products are unfortunately comedogenic, meaning they clog your pores. And if you are struggling with your skin or you have acne prone skin, it's just the worst. And it's literally so frustrating when your makeup causes acne and unfortunately there are so many pore clogging ingredients in like makeup nowadays i wanted to share um what i've been using for my skin kind of like instead of foundation and if y'all saw this on tiktok my friend tatiana posted about it and it's the color science sun forgettable total protection face shield um spf but it's a tinted spf and it like changes to the color of your skin like it shows up as like white on your skin and then it just like matches your skin tone perfectly and it just gives like the most beautiful amount of coverage and glow and this is actually very safe 
for acne prone skin i looked it up so it makes me feel like so much better knowing that like something i can use on a daily basis is gonna like even out my skin tone give me that like perfect amount of coverage and like that glow but it's also not gonna like clog my pores and be like i'm wearing makeup every day I have the flex and it's spf 50 and this is for medium skin tone so i'm gonna link this I'm just like obsessed. It's probably my favorite beauty product that I've like found in a really long time. So I'm loving this. Another brand that I've been loving lately is Rose Ink. And I used this foundation for the first time a few weeks ago and I fell in love. It's very, very lightweight. Again, safe for acne prone skin. I love Rosie Huntington Wiley so much. I love her style. I love her vibe. I love when she goes on podcasts and stuff because I swear I'm like, I want to be you when I grow up. But this is her brand. And she also like dealt with acne prone skin her whole life, I'm pretty sure. So she developed this line specifically for that and something i learned is that just because a product is like clean um doesn't mean it's non-pore clogging so that was like a misconception i had but rose ink is clean and it's non-pore clogging so i love the foundation it's the sin smoothing liquid foundation and i have the shade 16w medium warm i'm not sure if this is the perfect shade for me honestly but it works so just tried their concealers for the first time and they give a really good amount of coverage but it's very lightweight it doesn't like crease a lot it's not super dry um i have the shades lx050 and lx060 so i love those so much and that's another product i've been like loving for acne prone skin okay another one of my favorites has been the merit flush balm blush in the shade cheeky it's so beautiful i'm wearing it right now and i love how you can wear it on like a no makeup day but you can also wear it with like a more like glam makeup look and i love it so much it's so beautiful it's so glowy and non-comedogenic which we love and then for bronzer i've been loving the say sun melt in medium bronze i've had this for so long but once i realized that it has like good ingredients for acne prone skin i've been like using it way more so those are like my faves at the moment i'm just like obsessed with all of these and i'm gonna link everything down below if you have acne prone skin or you're like seriously struggling with your skin definitely check these out though my favorite right now has got to be sounds great you guys the other day i got this massive package in the mail and it said like fragile all over it and i was so confused because i didn't order anything tell me why way <laughs> sent over this massive tin can and it's literally filled to the brim with popcorn my dad already got a bunch of it but like i don't even gonna eat this but it's just so funny that they sent this butter this is like a kettle corn one and then that's a cheesy one but it's just so funny like size reference this is massive this is not what we were expecting and it's just so funny that it's from way like a hair care brand I'm just gonna do leftovers tonight last night my mom made spaghetti and meatballs it was so good so i'm just gonna make like a little side salad to go with it i feel like i make the same salad in every single cooking montage so i'm not really gonna explain it i just usually do like red onion cucumber tomato i have like cherry tomatoes green of choice is always arugula i've been really good about like eating whole foods this week and i feel so good like i just have to say i feel amazing i don't feel as bloated i feel like my skin is clearing up i don't feel as like inflamed i just feel really really good and like energized like i don't need a ton of coffee or anything so inshallah i can keep it up and keep this up until like honestly like the wedding time but we'll see Obviously, because there's like a huge time difference, my wedding planning meetings are always really early in the morning. So I'm happy because my husband will be able to join this one. He hasn't really been able to join any of the other calls, and we have a lot to go over today. So I'm excited for this call. My planners and like agendas ready. This is my weekly planner. I'm gonna fill that out later. This is like the little book I've been using for like wedding stuff, just like lists and things I have to do. And here's everything. That we have to go over today so we have a lot loving my planner i write out all the stuff i have to do so it's sunday so i'm gonna write out my planner for the week probably after the call i'm gonna drink a lot more water in the mornings and then later today i'm excited i'm gonna see my sister-in-law and there's this like 
Palestine fundraiser. My favorite coffee shops in San Diego is called Finjan. They're doing like a Palestine fundraiser with like a bunch of different other like vendors, like food, coffee, that kind of thing. So we're gonna go to that around one o'clock. Then the rest of the day, we're just gonna be organizing, editing. It's where my office has become such a mess with just like stuff that I have. It's like my clothing rack where I put out all my coats and just things that I wear more on a daily basis. I just got this little pink jacket, which I love. This is the fur coat I got in France from Cezanne. I need to show you guys what I got from Aritzia, but that's the box there. That's the box of like other wedding invitations that we didn't end up using or ones that we still have to give to people in person and then like under there is like extra wedding stuff from the save the dates that's like random junk bags gift desk is so horrendous i need to get a like proper organizer when i move into another place but i'm like not buying anything right now there's just like stuff everywhere and i feel like with the move coming up in like seven ish months i've been collecting things here and there for the new place like i'm just running out of space in my childhood house in my bedrooms and that kind of stuff so i feel like i just have like boxes and boxes and like coat racks in my closets like about overflow too so Hi. Yes, six thirty. Like yeah. a bell, pop, pop, pop. They just got off the call. It went very well. Today we were really focusing on finalizing like the day of schedule, just like planning out the ceremony time, when people were gonna have dinner, the second entrance, because I do want to do a second wedding dress. I'm gonna do hair and makeup, like refresh after dinner, second dress, all that stuff. So that was pretty productive and then we were just like planning some in-person meetings in the near future for wedding planning stuff so i'm gonna have one more trip there inshallah until the wedding time I need to be there to meet with the vendors meet with my planner finalize everything see it all in person like walk through the venue do all of that so so that was a little morning wedding meeting. I'm feeling productive. I don't know if I even showed you guys our wedding invitations, but we sent these out um, a few weeks ago. I love how they turned out minted. It did such an amazing job. I worked with them on my save the dates and my invitations, and I feel like they're just so talented. And I love that they were able to really make it so personal for us. And I just think it looks so chic. This is literally my dream wedding invitation and i love this so much i have a couple of things i need to figure out this week finalize wedding photos i have like two main options and this week i need to decide ask my mom and sisters and in-laws about hair and makeup okay and then Hotel near venue for family. What else? There was one other thing. Oh, and then <laughs> menu tasting. We have to pick two options from every category. You guys have probably seen I've been drinking bone broth pretty much every single morning. I just do like a cup of it, I heat it up, and then I squeeze the juice of one lemon in it, and it is so delicious, you guys. I've been like looking forward to having this in the mornings on an empty stomach. Bone broth has so many health benefits. It's a natural source of collagen and protein, and we actually make ours at home. I know you can get it out, but it's literally so expensive, and you never know if it's like halal or anything so i believe this is beef bone broth and my mom shared the recipe with me and it's really easy I have it listed in the description if you guys want to make it at home i've been trying to be really good about like my diet and like eating a lot of clean foods as i'm working on clearing my acne and just like in the full wedding prep mode so i love having this on an empty stomach and then i'll do breakfast and then coffee i used to literally drink coffee on an empty stomach and I swear, my anxiety and my hormones were like... Okay, all ready and I'm about to head out. 
about to drive to my sister-in-law's house and then we're gonna go to the little like Palestine fundraiser. I just finished Pilates. It was such an amazing class. It was actually really hard today. There's like a few instructors that I really love at my studio and I swear every time they're teaching class I feel like the biggest difference and their classes are so much harder. Waking up at like six-ish every single morning for the past like couple weeks ever since like the new year started and it's been so good for my mental health. I just have like a second in the morning to myself to relax to journal to pray to like clean up and then i'll usually try to do a workout by like 7 7 30 today the pilates class that i normally do is at eight almost nine o'clock i'm gonna go home start my day i'm gonna stop at the grocery store really quick there's like a few things i want to get not like a full grocery run but just like a couple things we're out of and then i have a call at 10 a.m with like a potential wedding photographer i told you guys i'm like down to my top two so i'm gonna talk with this one today and then try and make a decision ASAP. And then we just gotta get on with like the basic Monday workflow. Step because I'm about to head out and run some errands. I wanna stop by the mall, I have some returns to make. But I've been trying to be a lot better about like eating at home and obviously like I don't really buy as much coffee out now with like the Starbucks boycott and I try to do the same thing with like getting lunch and stuff out. I'm gonna make myself a really yummy sandwich and this is like a copycat of my favorite sandwich from Board and Brew. If you guys are from San Diego, you're definitely familiar with Board and Brew and it's like vegetarian. You can add like turkey or whatever deli meat you want. Obviously if you have it, but I want to show you guys how to make it and I'm like starving. So we'll definitely want to eat something before I head out because I think I'll be out for like a couple hours. The base is hummus, avocado, and then Dijon mustard. And then I just like toss a bunch of veggies in. So I'm gonna do a cucumber, cherry tomatoes, um, arugula. I'm gonna get a red onion and then I like to have olives on the side as well as some sauerkraut and some chips. These chips from CSA, it's the jalapeno lime have been like my fixation. I'm obsessed with them. They're so good. and we have about a 30 minute drive. Just got to the mall, but look what happened when I was driving. I was taking a sip of my coffee and I literally spilled it all over my white shirt, which I love that. I love when that happens. I've been loving like a really natural lip lately and these have been like my go-to products. I'm like literally almost out of this. This is the Nude Sticks Hydropeptide Lip Butter with Shea and Avocado. It's not like scented or anything, but it's so moisturizing. When I was sick like all of December pretty much, like this was by my bedside table. I was reapplying it so often because my whole like nose, mouth, all of this whole area was just so dry from like constantly blowing my nose and this like literally saved me but for lip liner i've been using the makeup forever artist color pencil in the shade anywhere caffeine it's a really really like natural brownish nude it's so beautiful i'm just gonna reapply it i low-key need a sharpener but it's okay Then on top, I'm going to use the Clarins Lip Oil. This is the Lip Comfort Oil in the shade for Pitaya. I love it. It's like a super pretty pink. And I feel like I didn't really wear this kind of color often. I would just do like a clear gloss. But I feel like this is so cute for like every day. And it literally smells like candy. It smells so good. 
so that's the lip combo i feel like it's really natural and perfect for every day these have been like my favorite i don't want to finish this coffee in the car so i don't have to carry this around the entire time and i've also been really good about bringing my water bottle with me everywhere because i feel like before in the past i would just be like oh i'll drink water at home and then like the whole day will go by and i won't even have like drink barely any water so we're definitely gonna bring this around Aritzia and I pulled a bunch of stuff to try on because I didn't know that when you buy something on sale here it just becomes store credit so I'm like I might as well just pick something out while I'm here I got a couple like pairs of jeans they honestly didn't really have my size and then a few like really cute denim shirts and then some like basics and stuff that I found that I feel like I prefer for like, workouts I thought this dress was cute I always feel so awkward here because the communal mirrors but today I was like mm -hmm. I'm asking for the world with the mirror obsessed with anything and this year I'm trying to be better about like really loving something if I'm gonna buy it but I did really like this little workout jacket that I picked out the TNA light little like black zip up and I got a size small and I feel like this will be super cute and actually useful for me because I'm always looking for stuff like this to wear to the gym and like yoga and pilates and stuff so I'm gonna get this and then I can just like save the rest of the store credit for later. mall and I would say it was actually pretty successful. From Aritzia I had those two pairs of Levi's to um, exchange and I didn't realize that once you buy something that's on sale at Aritzia it becomes store credit. I found this top that I really like and I think I'll actually be able to wear it. I still had some money left over on the card but I was like you know what I'm not gonna like, waste it on something I don't love right now so I'll just save it in case I find something I like at a later time. This person's car is like literally so loud. This little workout top it's by TNA. It's the TNA Action top. I don't really know the exact name but it kind of reminds me of the Lululemon jacket. It's really cute and I'm always looking for good like long sleeve tops to wear to Pilates, um, to wear to like yoga and workouts and stuff and this is actually really nice like thick quality. So I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot especially now that I have been working out like way more than I was before. It's just always nice to have good quality basics because you wash your workout clothes more than anything else and I feel like when I was younger I didn't really understand like why workout clothes were sometimes so pricey but it really is truly because you wash it so much and you need it to be durable and you want the quality to be able to last you when you're washing it like every week which is how much I wash my workout clothes and then I went into Reformation and I actually got a pair of jeans which I'm so happy about they just fit so much better than the Levi's and I heard Levi's stretch out a lot and I really don't like that with jeans so this is the pair I got it's the I think this is the carry yes it's the carry high-rise slouchy wide leg jeans and they fit so well I feel like I just don't really gravitate towards pants anymore I'm always in like dresses and stuff but honestly I found that I was either looking really frumpy if I wasn't totally dressed up, I was wearing like workout clothes or I was wearing like a full dress and I want something that's just gonna be more casual and um, these fit pretty slouchy which I like and they're a really good length on me. I'm like, I don't know, I wouldn't say I'm super tall but I'm like definitely not short. I'm like 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and um, I don't like when jeans are like right at my ankle level because then when I sit, it's like you can see my socks and my sneakers. Like I just don't like where jeans normally hit on my legs. I like them to be a little bit longer and like cover my ankles. I don't know. I just weird preference of mine and these were the perfect length. I got the size 26. I was going in between this one and the 25 and the 25 was a lot more like snug on the waist um, and they did look really, really flattering. I just think it was a different look. Like this is a little bit more slouchy and relaxed and the length was like so much longer on these than on those. So I decided to go with the 26. I am gonna like wear it around the house. I think with the tags on, that's what the lady told me to do. Just like see how it holds up during the day like I definitely don't want them to stretch out so much so if that's the case then I might like go back and get the 25 but 
yeah I always like to get La Colombe at this mall I got a decaf latte with oat milk normally I don't drink oat milk I drink almond milk but they were out of it today and I've been really good about my caffeine intake I made a little bit of coffee before I went to the mall but I didn't even end up finishing it and I got a decaf right now because it's like almost 5 p.m. and I like don't really want to drive home right now because the traffic is gonna be so bad so I thought we could just sit I have a little car chat with it being the new year and talk about like some of my goals and some reflections from past year it's kind of crazy reflecting on 2023 because I feel like so much happened last year like it was such a transformative year in a lot of different ways and I think at least for me personally like I turned 24 last year and I feel like I kind of entered this like mid-20s um phase of my life that is still like kind of confusing and it I feel like it really confused me last year I traveled so much last year which I'm so grateful for and that's something I definitely want to continue doing in 2024 something I'm really prioritizing and I feel like it's all I've been doing since the new year has started is just like really working on my health it was so stressed out and I don't even think I realized how stressed I was it was affecting my daily life my anxiety my skin my gut like I started to have really bad acne last year and I don't even think I realized that I f probably 60-70% of it was from the constant stress that I was under and that's like stress from so many different things I got to a point where I would wake up every morning and I would, first thing I would check was like my phone and I would like go to workout classes like I'm not saying I was a couch potato I was definitely still living this like active lifestyle but I don't think I realized that you know that wasn't necessarily healthy either like wellness and health meant a lot more than just like going to Pilates for the past few weeks I've really been reflecting on like the end of last year and like the fall and just like how bad I feel like my mental and my physical health got. Stress is a huge factor that contributes to your immunity and I'm sitting here trying all these different products and remedies and going crazy about my skin and I didn't realize that like obsessing so much about my skin was what was making my skin so bad. Guys, what the heck that person's um, beeping was on for like five whole minutes but moral of the story is I don't think I realized how much stress and like anxiety was affecting both my physical health both on the inside and on the outside and how much it was affecting my relationships and my relationship with myself and I feel like I was letting every little thing affect me, especially like outside opinion and outside voices and people's opinions of me, whether that was people I knew in real life or people online who didn't know me at all. And I feel like it was just, it was tough. Like I was not in a good mental space and I really decided that I can't live like this anymore. Like I can't live feeling like so out of control of my skin out of control of my like stress out of control of anxiety like i just want to feel 100 percent good and confident and like secure in myself normally not one for a bunch of like new year's resolutions but i feel like this is a special year for me i'm getting married in seven months inshallah like i can't believe our wedding is coming up it's actually going to be less than seven months um which is so crazy but i'm so excited and i can't believe that this time is finally here like i feel like i've been planning it for so long and if you guys have been following me for a while you know that like we've just been waiting for this day for forever and it kind of hit me like i feel like i'm living my life on autopilot and i'm just like not enjoying my life as much as i want to and i don't want to look back on this time and be like oh my god it was so stressful and I was so you know I was just like I let it all pass me by and then I'm sad that that chapter of my life didn't pan out the way I wanted to or I didn't feel the way I wanted to feel in that time I just want to level up this year and be my best self and that doesn't mean I need to change myself completely that's not what I'm doing I just want to take better care of myself and I think that will like even out a lot of the issues that I have. One of my biggest goals for this year is to wake up a lot earlier in the day. I've been waking up every single day around like 5.30 to 6 a.m. and I love having a slower morning. I love being able to wake up and the sun's not out yet. It's so quiet, it's peaceful. I can pray fudge it and then I read a chapter of my book. It's called Journey to the Heart. It's just like daily little one page reminders and I love that. And then I listen to a little meditation 
meditation on Spotify, like five or 10 minutes, nothing too long. And this is just like breath work for me. And this has been so amazing for like calming my mind, calming my anxiety, just like starting the day on a positive note. I find myself having way more patience and feeling a lot more grounded throughout the day and way less anxious when I just have that five ten minutes of meditation in the morning and this like little morning routine and then I will plan out my day like I'll write in my journal and I'll change into some workout clothes and then I will be at a morning workout by like 7 7 30 latest 8 a.m. Um, I really try to do the 7 7 30 just because it makes me feel a lot more productive and it's been amazing for my mental health I have never felt more in control of my anxiety than now and it's just been so wonderful I've been loving Pilates I've also been doing hot yoga. I've been going to core power sculpt and I love it because I feel like it just challenges my body in a different way um, I also love doing the infrared sauna about once a week and that has like so many health benefits And again, I feel like it really helps with like my mental health I'm trying to be in more control of my caffeine intake. I feel like my caffeine intake was so insane last year Like I would have coffees way too late in the day like multiple drinks a day and it's just not good and I'm doing one a day maximum and I'm only doing it after I've had like a full breakfast I'm not doing it like first thing in the morning anymore I'm liking to start my morning with like a little bit of hot tea or some bone broth and like lemon juice and then I'll go to my workout I'll come home I'll make a really balanced breakfast with protein and veggies and carbs it's just like very satiating and nutritious and then I'll have like a small cup of coffee and that's it I feel like my energy levels are so much better like I actually don't even feel like I need coffee the way I used to I feel like I used to wake up and feel like a zombie until I like had coffee but I would have horrible mood swings um, my PMS was terrible you guys like my periods were awful my PMS was actually horrible like for an entire week before my period I would be crazy mood swings like I would just get so frustrated with myself I just like would break out really bad I was just very irritable and I don't know it was just like very uncomfortable like I could definitely tell that something was wrong and I needed to make a lifestyle shift another thing I've noticed that's been better since I've changed my lifestyle a bit has been my TMJ I was actually going to a couple um what are they are they orthopedic surgeons I don't know who it is like the like dentists they're not like dentist dentists but they handle like the bone structure and like your jaw and stuff and they were telling me to start like getting master botox for the pain and clenching in my jaw and you know honestly i feel like i'm not clenching as bad at night and i think it's because i'm having way less caffeine and my stress is a lot more managed so i'm like okay i don't need botox I've been really working on my skin as you guys i'm sure have noticed like i'm really trying to get my skin in control i want to clear my hormonal acne i just like don't want to have acne on my wedding day i not even just for the wedding but like i feel like having acne really plummeted my confidence last year and it's been really frustrating struggle for me so i went to the dermatologist and i got put on a new topical cream it's the win levy hormonal acne like topical and so i do that in the morning and then i use tretinoin at night and i've completely simplified my skincare routine i literally just do moisturizer and sunscreen like that's literally it and the topical at least for right now while my skin is adjusting i am going to be very very gentle i'm not using a lot and my moisturizer is the laneige water cream and that's like a super gentle non-fragranced non-commodogenic um, cream and I love that one. Um, I've also searched out a lot of makeup products I noticed that so many of my makeup products were pore clogging. There's a website that you can check like you just copy paste the ingredients off of um, the back of your products or whatever and then it'll tell you if the product has pore clogging ingredients and so many of mine did so i have been loving brands that are non-commodogenic like merit beauty and rose ink and say beauty they've been like my favorites and i've also tried to limit how much foundation i'm wearing i've been using the color science tinted spf which is the one i talked about earlier on in the vlog and that's been super great i don't even feel like i need foundation or anything i'm trying to just be more active i feel like because i work from home i don't leave the house as much i've been loving going on walks and listening to a podcast i feel like that like 30 minutes to an hour of a day that i dedicate you know maybe after the work day is over or even like during lunchtime, it just helps me so much and i feel so inspired and i learn so much from podcasts so 
and I want to just like make sure I am doing things that are also good for like, my brain and I want to be learning and I think once you're like out of college and you're like in the workforce I feel like you just don't learn as much there's not as many opportunities for that I think I'm also really working on this year it's just being a lot nicer to myself and speaking things into existence like I don't want to talk negatively upon myself anymore because it becomes your reality if you wake up every day and you tell yourself you're not enough or you know you don't like the way you look or picking apart every little thing that is going to be true I think we're just so mean to ourselves and we pick ourselves apart so much and I see it with my own sisters with my mom with my friends like we're so hard on ourselves like we would never talk to our best friends like that we would never talk to the person that we love like that like why do we not extend that same level of grace and like I don't know care and love to ourselves why are we so mean to ourselves so that's something I'm really working on is just like obviously doing my best trying my best pushing myself being disciplined but at the same time giving myself grace trusting myself like being nice to myself and yeah camera is flashing at me which is so annoying but basically so excited for 2024 i feel like this is going to be such a huge and busy and exciting year inshallah and i just pray that every single one of you have the best 2024 may it be filled with happiness and blessings and exciting opportunities and joy and i hope that inshallah we all reach our goals this year. I'm so excited to bring you guys along this year. It's gonna be so crazy in between the wedding and moving and traveling so much and Ramadan and since graduating and planning like all the events and yeah, it's just gonna be really, really exciting and I can't wait to bring you guys along. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.